Well, days after three people died in separate incidents involving the LAPD, the officers have faced backlash over their handling of the incidents. In some cases, they did not call in mental health professionals, but today those officers received strong support from the police union. More now from NBC4's Alex Rozier. We support the full release of the video. L.A. Police Protective League Director Jamie McBride spoke out today after his officers faced criticism for their handling of three incidents that led to the deaths of three people earlier this month. We support and stand by all the incidents that happened. In one incident at 2nd and Whitmer, January 2nd, a woman called police for a domestic violence restraining order violation. Let me talk to you. I'm here to help you, okay? LAPD said officers attempted to de-escalate the situation, but Takar Smith grabbed a chair and later a knife. Police tased and pepper sprayed him until he picked up the knife again, and then they shot and killed him. His wife now says the situation could have been handled with a mental health professional. I wanted the police to help me, and they failed, and they really failed me. Even LAPD Chief Michael Moore expressed concerns mental health resources weren't utilized. At no point during this call was our mental evaluation unit called for assistance or support. But the police union said today, in this case and others, it wouldn't have mattered. Any of these incidents, they have to be rendered safe first before a mental evaluation unit can even come up, one of the smart units. So in all these situations, it was not rendered safe yet. And the union says there aren't many mental health clinicians available. Right now, and I just checked, we have eight mental health car calls available for a city of four million. That number drops down to about four cars after 8 p.m. So it seems the only agreement is a shared belief that more mental health assistance is needed. It'd be great to have a, a, an ME unit for every division that can respond. But when it comes to the three deaths earlier this month, the union says mental health professionals wouldn't have helped. In Los Angeles, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News.